Hello children, this is Gracious Binkwe again. I'm here to teach you today another lesson from the Bible. Today I'm out in the garden because Jesus taught children everywhere. He taught adults everywhere. So today we are going to do it in the garden. So let us say a word of prayer. Father, we thank you Lord for today. I pray Lord that the word of God shall not return unto you void, but every listener of this shall have something to bless as we study and learn together at your feet. In Jesus' name, Amen. Praise the Lord. So, have you got your Bible today? If so, please open it to the book of 2 Kings. 2 Kings is in the Old Testament. Remember, we have 1 King, so this is 2 Kings. So, we are going to read a short passage. Please read your, open your Bible, and it's verse um, 2 Kings, chapter 2, verse 23 to 25 and i read then he went up from there to Bethel, and as he was going up the road some youths came from the city and mocked him and said to him go up you bad held go up you bad held so he turned around and looked at them and pronounced a curse on them in the name of the lord and two female bears came out of the woods and mauled 42 of the youths then he went from there to mount carmel and from there he returned to Samaria. So have you finished reading it or you want me to give you a few minutes to read it yourself? I'll give you a few minutes. Okay, I would give some explanation. So even if you have not finished reading it, you can always take time to read it again and mommy can explain it to you. But this story here is a, is a very, is a, is a teaching story, should I put it that way. Elisha is the man that was going to Bethel. On his way, he met some youths. So not little children, but youths, people that should know what they are doing. But what did they do? They were mocking a man of God. Elisha is a man of God. What were they saying? Go up, you bad health. Go up, you bad health. You know, we should be careful that we are not people that make fun of people. We are not people that are scornful. We are not people that, that look at other people and laugh at them. Because even if they are not men of God, God does not like it. God wants us to respect people. Elisha was definitely older than these youths. So he demanded some respect. What should you do when you see an elderly person? You should not mock them. You should not laugh at them. Instead, if they are carrying something heavy, if you can carry it, offer to help them. Some of them will say, oh, thank you, my little boy. Thank you, my little girl. I'll carry it myself. But one thing you should never do is laugh at somebody older than you. And even your friends at school, nobody likes anybody to laugh at them. All right? You know, some people might not be as good as we are. Maybe they are not so rich or maybe they are not so intelligent or fast please please don't laugh at them make them feel better if you can help them help them so these youths they met elisha the man of god and they were making fun of him they knew that elisha's boss elijah had gone to heaven so they were telling him as well go up you bad hell go up you bad hell and that really upsets elisha and elisha pronounced a curse on them what is a curse a curse is a bad wish on somebody. And if it comes from a, a man of God, it can happen. And it happened in this case. We don't know where the two bears came from, but the bears mauled them. What does maul mean? Attacked them. Maybe, he, maybe, maybe they were beaten. We don't know what happened. But I'm sure they learned their lesson. And they will never do that again. So please, children, make sure that you respect anybody older than you make sure you make people be kind to people be loving be respectful because if you do that you are going to make god happy and god will bless you everybody wants a blessing not a cause 
I hope you have learned something today. If so, remember to keep to it and share it with others. God bless you.